What is up? Today, I'm going to teach you how to recover your lost or damaged Premiere Pro file so that you don't have to re-edit literally everything. So let's just get straight to it. Now, just note, this may not bring you to the exact moment of the crash or the loss, but it will indeed save you a ton of time and hopefully your settings are good and we'll get into what you should have your settings at at the end. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do to recover your lost file or project is to go into Premiere and hit File, and then we'll scroll down to Project Settings, Scratch This. Now, this may be different in Mac, but it should still be under File or it might be under the Adobe Premiere Pro button at the top left as well. Now in your scratch disk, this is where we're going to wanna to find a path of where our files are saved. Most importantly, where our project autosave is at, but most likely these will all be the same. So mine is on an external drive of D under a folder for project files. This is where you're gonna to wanna to go next within your computer, either on Finder or Windows. For me, I'm in Windows, so I will go to Finder and I'm gonna to go to that exact folder. Now that you're in this folder, you'll see multiple other folders as well as potentially your project file. And you're gonna wanna go to your Premiere Pro autosave folder. And in this folder, you'll most likely see a ton of different files or maybe just a few if you just started the project. And you're gonna wanna find the most recent autosave that Premiere did for you. For me, this would be today at 10.32 a.m. That was one minute ago when it autosaved and I would open this project. This will open the most recent autosave that Premiere did to get you to the most recent point of your editing in your project rather than having to start all over or going way back to an older file version. Now let's talk about what your settings should be in order to have the most optimal autosave settings so that you don't lose as much of your project if this ever does happen. Now you're gonna wanna go to edit in Premiere, preferences, and then autosave. This is going to open an autosave dialog box where you can select how often Premiere Pro saves. For me, I have it at every 15 minutes, but you can change this to every five, 10, 15, however long you want. Now the maximum project versions is how many files it'll save until it deletes the oldest one and replaces it with the newest one. Um, and then you could also save a backup to the cloud on Creative Cloud now that they have this option, which is super beneficial and just in case your hard drive gets corrupt or something, then at least you have a project file in the cloud. You know, this is a very beneficial option, but that's really everything you need to know. And hopefully these settings helped you and hopefully this helped you find your project so you were able to not lose hours of editing. Uh, but that's really it for this one, guys. Feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and let me know if you have any problems in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.